Hello, I'm Lou Ellen Falco, the creator of Approval Test, and today we're going to talk about array transformations. If you haven't already, I suggest you take a look at episode 5, Arrays, because we're going to build on where we left off from there. So here's where we left off yesterday. We had a bunch of Futurama characters, and we were testing that the name gets transformed to the upper variant. I'm going to make this fail for a second just so we can see what this is actually outputting. So here you can see it has all the names and they're all uppercase. But the problem is that it doesn't really show you what was getting uppercased into what. And there's sort of a loss of information that's occurring here. So what I'm going to do is write a second test and show this the way that I would actually do it. Which is not to do the select directly in here, but instead to do a normal names of name, which would just give me the names, and instead take this label and push it out to the Lambda itself. So the idea here is I'm going to take individual ideas, each of the names, and I'm going to return some sort of string for it. And I really want that string to look like the name getting transformed to the other name. I'm going to use a feature that comes with approval utilities called format with, which is just the format, but in a more readable placement at the end. And I'm going to say in on this side and in dot to lower invariant on the other side. And now that I've transferred that, when I give it a run, when it comes up, you can see it's showing me what came in and what came out. In this case, I did it to the lowercase invariant. And this gives me a lot more information, which is a lot more helpful if this test is to ever to fail. I'm just going to really quickly approve this. And now I'm going to talk about something I haven't really talked about so far, only sort of alluded to, which is this concept of the whiteboard testing circle. Where I go to the whiteboard, I sketch out my scenario, I turn that into English, I turn that into code, and then I approve the result, which should be some sort of representation of what came out on the whiteboard circle. Now I found that this ability to do this really helps, but it doesn't necessarily tell me everything I want to know. I'm going to do a really quick test to show this out. Here's my testing method. I'm going to test. Um, int values. And so in my do, I'm going to give myself a list of um, a list of characters. So var characters equals and then finally I'm going to verify them and verify all of them. So here's my characters to character array. And then here, I'm going to take a character in. And again, I'm going to say let's format this with the character and the character as an integer. And if I give this a run, I nicely get all of the different characters and what they turn into, which I think of as all of the trees. But I don't necessarily get sort of the context of the forest that I'm looking at here. And so to complete this whiteboard circle, what I will do a lot of times is I will take advantage of the ability to pass in a header. So here I am passing in the header to it. And when I run this, you can see that now it tells me the whole word and all the letters being transformed. And this really helps me, especially on failure, to sort of come back and say, what was I thinking at this point? It's like I'm right back at that whiteboard scenario. It's extremely helpful for me. And just to give an example of that, here is an actual approval test from the triangle kata. And you can see, here's my header saying I have a triangle from 0, 0, 3, 0 to 0, 3. And the angle at point 0, 0 is 90. The angle at point 
0.30 is 45 and the angle at point zero three is 45. So even without seeing the code or the implementation, you get a good idea of this entire scenario and all the details. And if any of this was to change or fail, it'd be really easy to get a granularity as to where that problem is occurring. So before I close, I just want to highlight Jason Kearney again. Again, most of this idea of getting rich information from a list of values was sort of brought out working with him back in San Diego. You can find him on Twitter at Jason Kearney. And as always, if you have any questions about approval tests, tweet it with the approval test hashtag. I monitor that frequently and will answer you promptly.